Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let's get today's shout out of the way. Today's shout out is a twofer. It goes to John Salt and Anton Kapishev. Both were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and they both win a shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with another neat review of another neat Quadcopter. This is the Isheen E013 Plus version. Now, I reviewed previously uh, the Isheen E013, which was similar to what this is trying to do, which which is is, is a uh, acro trainer for beginner pilots, okay? An acro FPV trainer. Um, the Isheen E013, you know, it kind of did the job, but it wasn't the greatest flyer in the world. I'm hoping they improved it with this one. I'll, I'll let you know when we go fly it, but actually, uh, what are you getting? Okay, uh, the idea of this drone and the Ishin E013, the original, is to provide a simple introduction to FPV. Um, what you get is a brushed motor drone. This is a brushed motor, uh, micro uh, whoop style drone. Now the reason that being brushed motor is it keeps the price down, folks. It keeps it cheap. You know, don't poo-poo uh, brushed motor drones because they're, they're still useful, okay? You know, the motors do fail eventually, but you can replace them. You know, they're not that hard to replace. But let's talk about the drone first off. Okay, I mentioned it's brush motor. The size of the motors are 8520 motors. Um, they, they, those should give us pretty good power, so we'll find out when we fly it again. Uh, it comes with a 1,000 TV line camera, which is not too bad. Uh, pretty good reception. Uh, it's a wide-angled lens. Um, what I was looking at, it doesn't seem to be bended wide-angle lens, you know, where you see a fisheye effect. I didn't see too much of that uh, in initial flights here at home. We'll find out when we fly it outdoors, though. But uh, overall, the actual camera did look pretty darn good when I was flying it. Um, also, it comes with a 48 channel, a built-in 48 channel, 0 or 25 milliwatt switchable 5.8 gigahertz FPV transmitter in here. Uh, the channels can be changed, automatically changed. You don't need to mess around with the transmitter to change it, but you change it with the controller. Uh, you got a channel up and you know button here and a uh, frequency channel changer here so you press this button to change the channels press this button to change the frequency so that's pretty cool in itself that you could do that you can do that with the controller if you want to switch the channels of um, video of the video transmitter now this is available in red and white versions i got the red version here um, it's also available now if you notice for the controller here this is a a holder for an FPV monitor. Um, I'm trying to remember how this hooks on. I think it clips on like so. <laughs> I ain't gonna mess with it now because I'm not. I'm gonna use goggles. But it does have a, a holder for an FPV monitor. So if you want to use it with an FPV monitor, you can. If you have your own FPV monitor, but this comes available without goggles. There is a version that comes with goggles. They use the VR006 goggles they're bundling uh, with this particular drone. Um, it's available in versions with one, two, or three batteries. I got the three battery version as I already got one of the batteries installed inside there. And it also comes with and without racing circles. You, have, you get little gates that you can fly with this. I got the version that didn't get the gates because I'm going to fly it outdoors just running around in the local area here, but you can uh, buy a version with gates. It actually has a timer that tells, you know, how fast you make it through your, uh, you set up a course and how fast you make it through your course, you can time how fast you can do it. So that's pretty cool too, in, a, in effect. And one other thing this has, it has turtle mode. So if you land upside down, all you need to do is, I believe, yeah, hold this button, this R button down for three seconds and it will flip, automatically flip, and write itself. So that's cool in effect also. So what do you get uh, with, or I forgot to mention, finally, <laughs> very important, this can fly in angle mode, this can fly in horizon mode. Angle mode uh, uh, it automatically stabilizes itself and it prevents the uh, drone from flipping over. There's a maximum angle that it can tilt and that will stop that so that prevents the drone from flipping over. Horizon mode also, also automatically levels itself but it does not have that angle restriction so that you can do flips if you wish to do flips. And finally it has full acro. So if you want to practice acro FPV flying you can with this drone supposedly. I'll let you know how well that works when we fly it, but you can. Uh, what do you get in the package? You get uh, the control or the drone. You get the instruction manual, which which is actually a pretty good instruction manual, written in English very well. Describes all the 
components of the drone. You again, you get a 500 milliamp per hour battery. You can get up to three of them uh, with white low C connectors. These kind of look like the old uh, CMAX 5C battery, except with a uh, white low C connector on them. Uh, you get a spare set of propellers, and I need to bring that up uh, real quick. Uh, check, if you do get this, check to make sure that all your propellers are firmly seated on their motors. The one that I got out of the box, these were barely on, and as soon as I flew it, three of them popped off immediately. So make sure they are firmly seated by pressing down with your thumb on each motor and on each propeller to make sure that they are fully installed. The people at the factory don't seem to be doing that. <laughs> so just let you know that. Um, you get a charger. This is a, a basic uh, USB wall charger. And you get a spare set of propellers. You get a screwdriver. And the screwdriver is for installing the batteries into this controller. I don't know why they, they still do this to this day, but uh, every one of these uh, toy grade controllers, you require a screwdriver to open up the battery bay. So, uh, before we fly it, or before we go out and fly it, let's go over the controller itself. You get an on-off switch on the controller. To bind the drone, you have to turn it on, turn the drone on, and then go up and down with the throttle stick to connect the drone to the controller. These buttons here are just trim buttons for throttle and yaw. These buttons here are trim buttons for pitch and roll. And you've got your pitch and roll stick here. And again, this is throttle and yaw, available in mode 2 only, I believe. Again, the mode button here is for switching for between uh, angle, horizon, and acro. These two buttons, again, are for changing channels and frequencies of the FPV transmitter. And this button here, again, is for turtle mode, and uh, it has another function to hold on, folks. Let me look in my manual here. The manual, again, is well written, but I forgot what that particular button was for. One key takeoff. <laughs> This button here starts your motors, folks. If you need to, you know, you plug in the battery, press this button here, and it will start the motors. The motors spin uh, in idle when this drone is ready to fly, so that's how you do it. Quick press of that. Long press will flip it from upside down to level again. So that's the Ishin E013. Let's take it out in the field. Plug in its battery and take it for some flights. I'm going to use all three of these batteries today. So I hope you enjoy this flights. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and we are out at one of my favorite flying areas. Um, it's a little bit breezy out here in the desert today, so we're going to see how well this actually performs in the wind. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I already turned it on and bound it to the uh, transmitter. It should be ready to go. Putting it down on the ground. And starting the motors again by pressing this button here, the R button. Quick press. And let's take to the air. Let's bring it up close, show it to you. And I'm going to go over here a bit. This is it. Now, I noticed one thing right away that the throttle is not smooth. It has like a bump. But uh, let's see how it performs. We're in angle mode right now, and I'm trying to fight this breeze in angle mode. And it's not so... What was that? Oh, that was a butterfly. <laughs> but Okay, going around in angle mode. Now, let's press one time, and let's go into horizon mode. Horizon mode. Now we should be able to actually fight that wind a lot better because we can. We don't have the angle restrictions anymore, and we do <laughs> fight the wind or fight the breeze a lot better. Got real steep climb on it. Butterflies are chasing it for some reason. Let's take it up and see if I can actually do a flip with it. Oh no, there is angle restriction with it. I'm sorry, folks. I thought that was horizon mode. It is not. It's just that in second uh, rate, you get much more steeper angle. But there is still still angle restriction. But it's very, very steep angle. Let me show you that. Let me go downwind. Bring it over. Extreme angle on this. That's actually pretty cool, actually. <laughs> if you can put that much angle on it. Very fast in this mode. But, okay. With that in mind, people really want to see this flying. Wait, actually, I'm recording this video. Let's take it up for a second. Going up higher, higher, higher. Showing you its camera up there. We'll go upwind a bit and then rotate. 
and coming back toward me so you can see it. So, yeah, the second rate is just increased rate, uh, increased pitch on the angles. You cannot flip it, though, in this second rate. Okay, I think that's about enough of uh, flying it in angle modes, <laughs> in the two versions of angle modes, low and beginner rate, or beginner and expert rate. That's expert rate. Boy, that goes fast. <laughs> He can really pitch. He <laughs> can really move at this rate. It's actually a good flyer in this rate, expert rate, or intermediate rate, because that pitch angle is just extreme. And it don't care about the wind in this, in this rate. I'm having fun with it. Let me get it. Once you get a handle, you know, a handle on it, it's a lot of fun at this rate. I mean, it moves. <laughs> we'll switch here to FPV here shortly. And going out. Wow. Okay, I'm done flying it in angle modes, the two angle modes. Let's bring it in and we are going to switch to acro and I'm going to put on my goggles. So hold on folks, let me land it. i just land it right there and turning it off. You got to turn it off folks. Um, again, it in, uh, with the throttle all the way down, it does have some uh, idle. And again, I'm going to push these down just to make sure they don't pop off <laughs> because that scared me. Again, you know, right out of the factory, they hard, hardly had these pushed on, but uh, we should be good to go. Let me put another battery in here, I, since I got more batteries, and we'll go fly it in Acro now. Hold on, folks. Okay, we're ready to go here. How do you like my shirt today, folks? Okay, um, what I need to do is click this three times. One, uh, two times, actually. If you're at three beeps, we know we're in Acro. So uh, we should be ready to go, and let's go. Taking it up. Oh, starting motors. And take them to the air in acro. And let's see how this one feels in acro. Not too bad. Oh, this is, yeah, this is much better than the e E013, the original. This one feels a lot better for acro flying. A lot better. There you go, Ishin, you got it. Let's see if I can keep it, keep it in the air. Now, when you're flying acro with this, um, I recommend uh, flying outdoors. Find yourself a park with an open area so you can learn acro because it's difficult. If you've never done it before, it's kind of iffy. But let's see if I can flip this. Yeah, there we go. Did a roll. <laughs> you know, its pids could be adjusted. I'm way up high. Whoa. <laughs> Some of, you know, there was a twitch there. You know, if you give it too much, too much to turn, it it uh, reacts. You know, you give it more stick, more stick, and then finally it kicks in, but it's working. It is actually working. The controller's not the best in the world, but it's working. And it's working much better than the original E013 in terms of flying. Okay, let's bring it by. I'm just going to stay in acro as much as I can, folks. And of course, you can fly this in angle mode too if you wish. I'm just giving you my thoughts on it in acro. It works. This would be a good beginner's trainer. Now, this comes with a V0, VR006 controller uh, or VR006 goggles if you buy the bundled version. Those are not the best goggles in the world, folks. Um, I recommend spending a few dollars more. There are better goggles in that price range, namely the VR007 or the VRD2 or the EV800. They're all of them from Ishin. Those are good goggles. The VR006 are not. <laughs> but those other three are, and they are in the same general price range. You know, cheap. <laughs> so, uh, this is working well, folks. I am surprised. Let's go up high, show you its camera. 
it's a thousand TV line camera, so this should look good. And I'm flying pretty darn far away, so I'm gonna stay closer. This thing's moving. Surprisingly good, good drone for Acro. <laughs> Again, uh, that E013, the original was was not. Uh, its controller was bad, its pids were bad. This one's pids are okay. <laughs> They're flyable. So, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go up one more time here and try another roll. Here we go and roll. <laughs> Roll! There, I did it! So, how about a flip? There you go. You can do those with this. Surprisingly well. <laughs> and, yeah, this, this is a nice package, folks. Uh, I guess this would be a good package for beginners to learn to fly. So, I'm going to call it quits here. I'm not going to fly till the battery's dead, because one thing, you do not get a on-screen display with this to let you know what your battery power is, your remaining battery power. So I'm going to try to bring this in. And there we go. And turning off the motors. Okay, it turtled there. Uh, the thing is, though, let's see if I can flip it. Just out of curiosity. Oh, you done. Ah! <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Back to angle. We're going to fly the remainder of the battery in angle. That turtle mode works. Okay, I'm in angle mode now. Now, this is what you fly indoors, folks, if you want to fly FPV indoors. And you can with this drone. Go into angle mode. It's much simpler to fly. Let's bring it down here. You're not going to be able to flip it. Let me go to second rate. Second rate, uh, because this thing can move fast in angle mode. If it's max pitch, it actually moves very well. Okay, we're in angle mode now. Working well. <laughs> and the signal from this 25 milliwatt is coming in very well. I am recording it. I'm hoping it's coming out on my VRD curve goggles. Let's see if I can go down low and fast to the, to the bushes. Coming down lower, lower. Low, 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 low. See how low I can go. That's about it. <laughs> Go around this bush here. Oh, let's go into that bush. <laughs> I'll go get it. Thank you, love. Okay, here we go. Let's start up the motors again. No, I think that's it. Don't want to fly anymore. So that's the end of its uh, battery. So that's its flight time with that crash. Um, all in all, uh, it's actually not a bad drone. Let me stop the recording here and make sure I got the recordings. One and two. And let me give you my thoughts on this thing. Before we shut that up. The E013 Pro, um, yeah, I like it. It actually flew very well, even in Acro. Uh, this is the first beginner's Acro trainer that I liked. <laughs> okay, all the others, you know, the, the PIDs would be awful, uh, the control would be awful. This one's reasonably well done, so I kind of like it. The Ishii E013 Pro. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Uh, this is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.